All right, everyone, we are back. Crab claw kelp. Mm. Weird. Hazardous life forms, huh? Huh. Or the brine pools, whatever, I guess. But yeah, that's, that's a different thing. Alien bone specimen case, huh? We'll read all this when we're back in uh, relative safety. For now, let's just, uh... Flora. Huh? Flora specimen? Seen some of these before. Like some microscope type things. Alien research equipment. Ooh, hey there! I'm gonna take you. That looks like a door, doesn't it? If I take those off, is it gonna open? Integrating new PDA data. Oh boy, okay. Also, quartz just go on the side of this. Weird. No? Not gonna not gonna open? Not gonna do anything? Okay. I'm trying to like clip through or something. Huh. Because that's all this was then, huh? I had my gun ready and everything, but nope. Nothing. Fine. Don't know why you would reinforce the back of a cave like that if there wasn't a door there, but whatever. We also have a radio message I saw. So let's uh, read our data here. And go from there. Mixed Leviathan fossils. These fossils likely came from ancient ancestors of the Leviathans which inhabit the planet today. The relative size and delicacy of the bones suggest they formed near the ear canal. Some other complex interior structure. Jesus Christ. Gargantuan fossil, which is I think what we just scanned right back there. Um... Fossilized remains of an extinct super predator. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted over time. A true apex predator. Um, dated approximately 3 million years ago, ribcage measurements suggest the creature was eel like in structure. Calculations suggest this is only a front third of the specimen. Oh my god, that's huge. Um, the remains now support a vibrant microorganism life. Note, there are a series of precise angular indentations on the ribcage, suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen from a previous time. Gotcha. Ancient line fossil line skeleton. Oh, this one's the one I just scanned, isn't it? Where does the gargantuan come from, then? Why did I scan that? Hm, whatever. This fossil skeleton's a million years old, armored carnivore. Projections suggest the life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet thus far. Shit. Goddamn. The ocean of the time would have been very different to support organisms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Fuck. Glad we're not playing back then, huh? And then data downloads, alien downloads, scan data, and then uh, terminal data. Fauna reproductive data. Extensive alien research data on the local fauna, with the special focus on the reproductive methods, core conclusions have been synthesized. The aliens discovered the life forms of the planet have just one sex. They observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually require genetic material from another of the species. In rare cases, only one parent was required with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. Okay. Um, research equipment. The large laboratory table and accompanying scanners incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding. Hypothesis. Equipment maintenance. Staff maintenance. Specimen analysis. Specimen gene manipulation. Research probes. The prominence of the... Uh, uh, Prominence and facing of these alien devices suggest they are some kind of probe or sensor. Their subject would seem to be a vast skeleton in the center of the cavern. The attached network cables may lead to a remote power station or data hub. Gotcha. And then the flora research. Local plants are in stasis here. 
The aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem, which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. Gotcha. And then all this stuff is just more data cores that had happened. Jesus Christ, okay. Um. We're storing more of this stuff in gear. That's what the orange one was for. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go back to here. Put those in, put those away. That was a good radio message, huh? Okay. I'll mark this in case we need to come back to it at some point. So I'll figure out how to open that door. All right, back to Cyclops. We've got two spare batteries. We should be good to go for a while. Let's get the hell out of here. Can I get out of here, or, uh... Is that not an option for me? Nope. I'll go back down then. Keep going, just keep going, it's fine. We got in, we'll get out. Okay. And we are out. And away. Perfect. All right, we're gonna head uh, this way now, because this should lead us back up to the surface area. I hope. And after that, we should hopefully be able to, um, with the nickel we got, get some depth upgrades going, or something at least. Fuck. A little lower. Down here, okay. This is the Grand Reef. Before we go too far, let's put another beacon down here, just to note that uh, this is another entrance exit. We're gonna have so many beacons, guys. It's gonna be great. I love beacons. See, this is what lights should do. They should, like, light up the area right here. Unlike what we were seeing before, where it was, like, making everything dusty and shit. Those assholes. Keep the lights off. Shields up! Go, go, go! Shield down. Fuck another one. Son of a bitch. He's not coming at us yet. Let's, uh... Fuck. How do we get out of here? Not this way, that's for fuck sure. Shields? I, I said shields, please? Did I not turn them off properly? Is that what happened? Fuck. 
am I getting stuck on? Oh. Fight! Fights! Fights! Saren, let's go! We are away. We are away. Woo boy. We barely had energy left too. Holy shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. At least we didn't see another Leviathan over here, huh? That would suck. Get out of that area with Leviathans just to be hit by another one. I got we have the shields too. Those came in handy. I think if uh, we didn't have the shields, we would have been uh, a little bit done for. Numerous times over. Especially those assholes that like EMP your ass. Ugh. Damn. God, we're so far away still. This is crazy. And in fact, emergencies be vessel That's fine. Noise is fine. Up. Don't want it to overheat. No, we're almost back to base. Granted, this close, we can just swim back. We don't have to worry about Leviathans hitting us now, because we're home free. We can also take the sea moth out, so that's good. Yeah, any further exploration, the sea moth's going to be useless here. It's just us in our uh, bronze suits, what we're gonna need. Gotta get those depth modules though, because the Cyclops almost reached this limit too. I somehow managed to get it right at 700 instead of like a little bit lower. Damn. Crazy shit. Alright, prawn suit, I'm coming to get you now. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, and let's rise up a little bit further. And stop. Cut the engines. Engine powering down. Let's swap out the cores we can. Grab the bad core too. Jesus Christ. Everything just fucking took a hit there. Holy shit. I will take all the power cords I have. Damn. Maybe we'll just grab all this. Grab all this. I'm just gonna take the seam off out and redock it. And away! Good job, Seam Moth. You did well. You did well. Even though we didn't use you at all, we almost abandoned you, but you did, you did fine. Fine, don't worry about it. Okay. Now I got some uranium on me. Now I got a bunch of rubies. Got some nickel. Go ahead and start charging some of these batteries. Um, let's see. I have some diamond, some quartz, and some lithium. I need lithium too, my bad. And then we got a creature egg, which I made this one here for. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to the sulfur for now. Before we do anything else, though, let's get our water situation taken care of. What? I didn't have anything planted here? Fuck me. Oh. 
Vital signs stabilizing. The bushes are so great for water. Not so good for, um, you know, food and stuff, but... So they only give three food, but everything else is fine, so... Ten water, nice. What's really great is the, uh, fucking... God, the melon plants, those are amazing. They give you so much fucking, like... Stuff, it, it, it's insane. All right, let's um and see what exactly I need to build the uh, the prawn suits jetpack. I need nickel, titanium, and lithium. Okay, I have all that stuff over here, so let's go grab that. Nickel, titanium, I think I need five, right? One, two, three, four, five. And I need a piece of lithium. I'm pretty sure I grabbed more nickel than I needed, but I mean, don't worry about it. It's not like we're gonna waste it or anything. Okay. Perfect. Common up. Oh, I can make a storage. That's stupid. Okay, upgrade. Here we go. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Go to cover up prawn suit. We've left you down here long enough. And we're actually gonna be able to name it now too, so that's gonna be cool. Okay. Damn it, don't drop shit. It's not down here. I'm not Enerfron. Okay, equip. Okay. See if we can do this now. Oh yeah, we got it! Woo! Yeah, boys and girls! That's about as far as we can make it. All right. As long as we're making it a little bit further up, I mean, that's, that's all that matters. Holy shit! We made it up, and that's that's all that I can ask for at this particular moment in time. And we are docked. Thank God. Now then, shall we name it? Azura Mark One. After my tank character. That looks fine. The name should be black. Interior is gonna be. Too. That's fine. Yeah. Welcome back, Jura. All right. I think, as of this moment now, we're pretty much caught up with uh, where we were at before. Except I don't have the research for the prawn suit propulsion cannon. Um, I'm also missing quite a few of the uh, the parts for it. I had a bunch of storage upgrades on it on my. Uh, Hardcore playthrough, but you know what? That's fine. This is fine. This is totally okay. Yeah, I'm still charging. I need to build another one of those, but I don't want to build one. Ah. Anyway, we'll head back out here. We'll uh, keep moving stuff back and forth in the Cyclops. And uh, yeah. Systems online. Actually. It's gonna be boring for y'all to watch if I'm just doing that. So why don't we 
Get the important stuff, the nickel. See what all I can build with it. I know I can get the, uh, the depth modules. Let's see, there's that. There's the magnite here. Got some uranium to put in here. God damn. I still have so much more uranium, too. That's crazy. Got a piece of lead, a piece of gold and silver. Are you coming along, charging? Oh, you're getting along. Okay. So, back to the blueprints. Prawn suit depth module. I need parasteel, two rubies, and three, four. Okay, so, parasteel is ten titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus two lithium. And I also needed two nickel and three rubies, right? Right? Oh, three nickel, two rubies. My bad. There. Excellent. Let's go ahead and make that pair of steel real quick. We need to go out and start looting some more uh, titanium here in a moment as well. Okay, perfect. Well, I can make that module now. What about, um... Keep scrolling down here a little bit. Cyclops depth engine, okay. Another pair of steel and getting three rubies, okay. I do need this one right away, because uh, we need to go further down for our next area. Okay. Um, do I have ten more titanium? I do, just barely. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. I need two more. Of you. Um, I need three rubies, right? Okay. Go ahead and make the titanium. We'll go ahead and make the parasteel ingots. And that should be all I need for the depth module. Yep, perfect. Okay. And after that. Is there anything here? Mm. What else do I need? What else do I need? Need, 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 need. See moth sonar. No, 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 no. Hmm. There was something else that took lithium. Not lithium. Um. Okay. Cyclops death module mark two. I can get that. I just need more parasteel. Um. Prawn suit mark two. I need. Cryonite. I had some of that at some point. I don't know where I got it from. Doesn't matter. Um, Seamoth Mark Three, Paris Steel, and three rubies. Great. So I just need a bunch of titanium, basically. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and um, make these first. <coughs> we got some titanium still in the uh, other place too, so that's good. Prawn suit, depth module. I mean, in order to upgrade them, I need to go back to the fabricator anyway. The modification station. Yeah, move. Okay. Uh, there. And there. And nope. Damn, that's all really. Fuck. Okay. I'll grab whatever else I can here. Um. Go ahead and make the depth module here. For Mark 1. Did I already have Mark 1? I don't remember. I don't think I did, but just to be sure here, I did. I, or, well, fuck my life. I didn't have to make that. I did not have to fucking make that. Son of a bitch! Can I break it down? 
Can I like, can I go back over here and be like, hey, I don't want this anymore? Can I like, turn it, take it back, take, take it back. No. Mm. Man, if I had more of that crystalline sulfur, I should have grabbed two more. Damn it. It was just it was in areas that were like deadly as fuck. Damn it. Okay. Whatever. Well, our uh Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, our um two battery cells that we're charging currently should be done. I'm just gonna grab what we can here, take it back. Shit. Hey, there we go. Oh yeah, I can't put that in there yet. Never mind. I'm done. Need to free up some inventory first. So I got these three gems here. One, two, three. Got the quartz. I know I got some more silver here. I got some gold. Lead. Magonite. So that's gonna be four, five, two, seven. Damn. Three off. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to let you guys just go because I'm just going to be crafting. Because at this point we need depth modules to go further down. Um, so there's not much else we can do until I get that stuff done. And it's just going to be me crafting, like I said. I'm going to have to go around, scavenge some stuff. It's going to be pretty boring. Me just going around picking up probably just metal salvage to get titanium and stuff. And then... Uh, when I finally do get back here, I'll make the stuff, equip it, and, um, yeah. So, it's about 100%. Sweet. Perfect. And our power cells charge back up. God, it's gonna take so much power. Oh my god. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I'll let y'all go here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually put away these. I'm gonna da, 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 da. what just no 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 not here not here not here not here parts put those away there um gear still have room yeah it does I'll store that there for now and then I'll just keep this stuff here I'll put these back on the channel yeah, okay anyway uh, I'm I'm talking about stuff I'm gonna do when I'm not even gonna record so that's fine so anyway I'm gonna get stuff done we're gonna come back here and uh, hopefully have all our depth modules. For all of our vehicles, including the Seamoth, up to 100%. It's gonna be great. It's a nice car. That's, a, that's, a, that's gotta be like a that's a Dodge, right? That's the Dodge Viper. Yeah, it's beautiful. Anyway, we're gonna do that. Come back here. Do some more stuff. I'm good. Alrighty. Till next time, everyone. 